Well, good evening to you. Today, officials from the National Weather Service, along with the emergency management offices from both Garland and Saline counties, surveyed the damage around Hot Springs Village. Channel 7's Andrew Mobley visited one of the hardest hit neighborhoods there and in spite of everything, found more hope than despair. Andrew. Sometimes when circumstances are at their worst, it brings out the best in people. The Viscongadis Way neighborhood was particularly hard hit, with downed trees everywhere, many falling on homes. It's a miracle that no serious injuries or deaths have been reported. Given the damage in this particular uh, section of the village, uh, it is a blessing and very surprising. Nobody was hurt. Thanks be to God that uh, it wasn't worse than it was. Despite the fact there was no electricity, the Sacred Heart Church held both a funeral and an afternoon service today, and more than a few devoted parishioners attended. Made it into our church through the darkness, into our church that has plenty of uh, light because of the windows, and we carried on as we normally would. We joined Father Bill after the afternoon service as he walked through the devastation left by the tornado, checking on parishioners whose homes had been damaged. I got word that some of our parishioners were affected, uh, called a few of them, see that they were okay, but found out that some of their homes had trees on them. We're just keeping up with everybody and making sure uh, our parishioners who have medical issues are uh, in a good place and being taken care of uh, until they're able to get back in their own home. We spoke with one local resident who had four trees fall on her home. She shared the terrifying experience she had with the tornado, hiding in a closet and at one point feeling as though her house was being lifted. Um, I've had a rough few years with different things in my life and um, I never want to go through that again. I, it was not something I've ever experienced and I came from Illinois. We have tornadoes up there, um, but this is the first one I've ever actually gone through myself. And I never want to do that again. Then, just after we concluded our interview, a kindly neighbor came by. Made some uh, chicken and sausage gumbo, some potato um, casserole, and some green beans. Thank All you. Right. It's hard, I know. Thank you. That's what you do right now. You band together and yes. Hope you enjoy Thank it. you. I appreciate that. And I know this is hard, but it's going to get better. While the power may be out a while longer for many village residents, the community could not be shining brighter. On your side, I'm Andrew Mobley.